Hello, advanced word uh, weekly revision exercises, um, section 4 of the manual uh, dealing with columns. So question 8 of the exercise is asking us to open the file daily news, apply two columns to the whole of the text, not the heading, with equal width, um, have 1.5 centimeter spacing and a line between the columns. And then it wants us to insert a column break um, before the text, dog eats 2.4 million, etc. And then save or close the document appropriately. Any help needed, look to page 44 of the manual. Okay, so we're going to double click on daily news from our weekly revision work files. And we're going to use the show and hide up here just to see how the text here is sectioned off away from the heading. So that means that our heading won't be included in the columning. So we highlight the text that we're asked to highlight, which is all of it, but not the heading. Uh, be aware in the test though um, that you may be asked to um, highlight just some of the text, not all of it. And then we're going to go to page layout columns drop down and we're going to use the more columns because we want to do some detail and this will give us all the options in here so we click on there so the first thing is two columns the second thing is the equal widths we need 1.5 spacing on the columns and we want a line between so once we're happy with that then we're okay the second part of the question asks us to put a column break in front of the paragraph starting dog eats 2.4 million, etc, etc. Um, so into the breaks feature, still in the page layout tab, and click on the column break and see how nicely um, that column goes up to the top of there. And you haven't got to do enter, enter, enter. And it stays nice and straight across the top. And then if you did continue to do some um, other text that wasn't in a column, you'd section it off and then start with one column again. So it wants you to save and close, so you can carry on and do that, but I'll leave you to do that and carry on to um, the next question.